Now the first step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files. Now scroll down over here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, do the same thing with this exe file. Make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, then again go to properties this time and then go to this tab, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, this time you can select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK launch the game and then check still not working this time you can put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and launch the game and then check you can do the same thing with this exe file and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok do the same thing with this exe file and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here. Now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Scroll down, select the game exe file, click on add. Now once the game is added, find the game in the list, click on the game. And over here you can see GPU preference, set it to high performance, you will see your graphic card over here. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, in that case you can open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11 in Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. So if the game installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the steam folder, steam apps folder, open the common folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file over here and then click on open. Again click on add and allowed app, browse all apps and then select this exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and open the game folder. So open the steam folder, steam apps folder, common folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add. In my case it is already added. Again click on allow another app, click on browse and then you can select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add. In my case both the files are already added. Once the game is added now you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to clear download cache in steam so go to steam and then go to settings go to downloads and over here you can see clear cache option click on it confirm it and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check Next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Now before you rename or delete the save game files, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So before you delete it, you can create a backup first. So for this, you can open file explorer on the computer and then go to doc documents folder and check. I think, no, it's not here. So open C drive program and yeah, users folder or your your username folder. You have to open your username folder and then open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the roaming folder. I think over here you can see the 
game folder maker right click copy this folder you can create a backup first so once you have a backup you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup now you can rename it or you can delete this save game folder so maybe dot ld and now you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can go to first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver go to amd website after you uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer restart is a must and then go to amd website select your graphic card and install the latest and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so go to game make a right click go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected the usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor and then check if you have any third party application or services running close it remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer next step is to disable steam overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app if you're using nvidia app you can go to settings and you can turn off this nvidia overlay or simply close all the other overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running or if you have revert tuner running so sometimes it's hidden so make sure that you close all the overclocking applications so make a right click you can close msi afterburner if you have revert tuner running close revert tuner or any other overclocking application close it and then launch the game next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser and install this visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 file and download the x64 file so once you download it you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and install this file as well make sure both both the files are installed so once the download is complete you can run this x64 file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then once both x64 and x86 files are installed now you can close this and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings 
and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the BIOS in case of a laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios and then log in and then launch the game you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode switching to borderless mode has worked to fix black screen issue so you can switch to window mode or borderless mode and lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game you can go to options go to options and then go to display option over here now once you go to display if this is set to full screen you can switch to window mode or you can even try borderless now when you switch to window mode if you want to lower down resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then you can switch to window or you can switch to borderless graphics quality now if this is set to like over here you can select quality frame rate if this is set to unlimited you, maybe you can set it to 60 or maybe i will set it to 60 and over here uh, let me set it to quality quality is high balanced is performance is low you can set it to performance and then check apply the settings and then you can check the performance now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to some d drive e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel